different realms. Do you think that Fafnir went to Alfheim too? I do not know. Aren't you curious? It sounds interesting. We go to the storeroom to collect anything useful for our journey. Not to learn more about the dwarf. Fafnir was a rather interesting fellow, little brother. Perhaps I'll tell you a story one day. Found anything good in Fafnir's storeroom, like maybe a whetstone? I can do whatever you need. Travel safe, you two. here first.
find another entrance. Boy, over here. It's another one of those maps. Looks like the Reavers made it inside. I hope they didn't take all the treasure. No magical treasure, and no what's Keep your expectations low, boy, and you will never be disappointed. They caught you off guard. I wasn't expecting them. Exactly.
poison in this one. And the stupid bird statue. And useful resources. The main reason we are here, boy. However, many of these chests have been emptied. Probably by the Reavers. I hope they didn't take Sindri's whetstone. told you about expectations, boy. Keep them low. I remember. Still, good feeling. A good feeling. This time. I saw. So I should keep my expectations low, but always expect an attack? It is a delicate balance. Expect the worst, assume nothing, and always anticipate an attack. Sure is a lot to remember. Think we'll find it there? No.
back to piss on my corpse, you ungrateful little... Uh, who are you two? We're looking for a whetstone. Have you seen it? Aye, there was one in this room. My son sharpened his dagger on it, right before stabbing me in the back. What? Little bastard thought it was his turn to lead my crew. I was hard on him, sure. Mm, guess I shouldn't be surprised. I did the same thing to my dad when I was his age. He killed his own father? Where is he now? <laughs> he may be a bastard, but he's my bastard. You'll get no help from me, fool. Then his dagger will help. Hey! That's mine! Hey! Come, boy. We are leaving. On the line, yeah! <laughs> Choke on it! A pair of pasty fiefles just sure can't fight. I'll give you that. Betray him like that. Kill his own father? Over some treasure? Seems so greedy. Remember what I told you, boy? You see nothing. Well, sure. He didn't seem like a great father, but. You only know half the story. Yes.
Well, what did you think of Fafnir's storeroom? We found no whetstone. This dagger belongs to the reaver who took it. They took most of the good stuff. Oh? Well, here, take this. In exchange for the dagger. The dagger you brought me is quite interesting. An artless design, but the construction is sound. Where in the temple did you find this? In the reaver's back. Ugh. He mentioned he was part of a larger clan. Maybe they took the whetstone? Quite possibly. I know I've seen this design before. I have a favor to ask. Just a small favor, really. Do you remember the dagger you gave me? The dagger stabbed into the reaver's back? His own son killed him? Yeah. I haven't forgotten that one. Well, I traced it to a group of reavers that operate out of the Northry stronghold. I'd wager that's where they took their haul from Fafnir's storeroom. Along with that whetstone. That I could use... to help you? Another treasure hunt. Pointless. Well, not if Sindri really can make us... Better equipment with that what's... Plus, the Reaver's son. He murdered his father. You gentlemen certainly know how to get around. Why don't you tell me how all this began with Boulder? He just knocked on our door. Boulder of Asgard just knocked on your door? Yeah. He just showed up and started a fight. He said he wanted to know something. He said, I know what you are. <laughs> oh. Well, we'll circle back to that later. What exactly did he want to know? I was on the floor by then. He said I already knew what he wanted. Perhaps he mistook me for another. Ah, that's quite interesting. Oh there! Got another favor to ask you two. What do you want, dwarf? 
I got another lead on my old pal on Vari. Meet me at the Lawn Soother Mines. There's some fancy dancy loot in it for you. Another lead? But we already found him. Well, found his hand anyways. I'll explain at the mines. These ones is just south of the river pass. Now you two want something, or you just gonna stand there all gag scrapped and slack jawed? Pull the ring off on Vari's hand at the Velander Mines. Feller was always tampering with souls and dark rituals and matters of the night, see? Yep. Just the sound of his hammer flattening metal were enough to stoke my fires all blissful. Shit, you better clear out before I get all frisky. What's got you all bum-fuzzled over there? Get going! in the middle of a story before. How would Freya agree to marry Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. seen one of those before. Like they won't speak to them. For more like this. Ah, Fafnir. I always wondered what became of him. Wait, Fafnir? Like, Fafnir's storeroom? Fafnir? The very one. But Sindri said he was a dwarf. He was. And now he's a dragon. Funny how life works, isn't it? He's chained up. Perhaps we should keep an eye out for binding shrines and free the poor bastard. Hi, lads.
here? Oh, he's no friend of mine. This little scroat was a constant source of annoyance amongst Aesir and Vanir alike. Then why free him? Trust the recently liberated brother. No one deserves to be held captive like this. Even a greedy little dwarf come dragon. Magical artifacts had something to do with it. Must have stolen a trinket from the wrong Banyard goddess. What's changed since we last crossed paths? I had legs. Boy, over here. Hmm. This is good to know. <laughs> A wee little bugger. Well, I think Dragon hasn't done much for his personality.
Here. Boy. Sir. Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take utmost care while handling it. It is a priceless relic, after all.
What is this place? Ah, could it be? The Eight Thrones. Stop being coy, Ed. Do you know this place or not? Ah, Mimir, the smartest man alive. I know many things. Well, whatever this place is, it looks important. To who? There is little of value here. Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take utmost care while handling it. It is a priceless relic, after all. Odin and Freya were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother Good. was the giantess Jorgun, one of Odin's you great ones. You were from this realm too early. What? I'll tell this one later. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace. Yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sather magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy, I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, <laughs> child. Gulvig will reward you. The special chisel is ahead past this gate.
apple doesn't fall this far. This realm suffers without her spirit. Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out look while we... Look if you we... wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. Ahem. There was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, the quarrel of the earth spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Harimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. He fell in a village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty callbag just got lucky. Dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Yes, a very, very giant. That big crystal on the giant's ring looks promising. Brother, looks like that crystal's brimming again.
What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final <laughs> breath froze. <laughs> that up there. <laughs> there he is. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Up ahead. What should we do? <laughs> Atreus, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, Harden World Street that. That's Andy. I did it. Can you read it? To Neward, we offer back the seas back. Ah, yes. It was believed that Njord could calm the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here.
How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Right.
Wow, that was uh, something, that the fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so... It sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh... It doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <gasps> you let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Plan of yours. Can you guess it? Telling you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. How do we move forward? Careful! My Boy, shop's right Tomo here. really liked jewelry, didn't he? he? Even braided his beard with it. I happen to think he looks dashing. You know, for a snow-covered corpse. I see something over there. Into that building? Yes. You think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Hmm. What are you thinking? What's up, boy?
You knew this place? Before? I came here on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war. So many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all. <coughs> That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. <coughs> but Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood. now. Stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. We do? Ha! 
and what we need is all the way down there. Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. That just leaves smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to... Oh, I get it now. Good. going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip. Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck then? You are welcome to suggest a different one. What now? Hold tight. Uh, this plan seems ill-advised. Jump! That didn't work. It only fell a little ways. What does it say? When time itself is disarrayed, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why well, start with winter? It's from a song mother used to sing. I know that one! Winter! Quiet, head. Doesn't like music either. Got it! Try that. Vetcher. Var. Sumar. House. It didn't work. But I know that's the order in the song Mom sang. Write it. Vetcher. Var. Sumar. House. It didn't work, but I know that's the order in the song, Mom Better. House. No, -uh. that wasn't right. Ah! Yeah. Ah! 
Write it. Var. House. Sumar. Venter. Still nothing. Boy, the order from the song again. Winter, spring, summer, autumn. There. Venter. Var. Sumar. House. It didn't work, but I know that's the order in the song Mom sang. There. Venter. Var. Sumar. House. It didn't work. But I know that's the order in the song Mom sang. Atreus, that word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well done, lad. Write it again. Thola. Horizon! The energy's lifting the platform! Keep writing. Thola. 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 Head. How is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well, turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them. Always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone.
Thanks. The boy. Just having a little fun, you big grump. Well, there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But Trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. Jump. Really? Come. Do not panic. Why would I panic? Whoa. I have you. Right, you know that. Well, well. Uh, Good. We should keep moving. The chisel tip. Give the man credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. Never leaves my mind. Those were the guys we saw with Balder. His nephews? Aye. Magni and Modi. The sons of Thor. 
Mother always said the Acer were the worst of gods, and Thor was the worst of the Aesir. Guess he's a terrible father, too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Will Sindri be okay? I'll never even see him. Ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny. I remember there being a massive candelabrum. Really livened up the place. There. Ah, yes. You just can't help but break things, can you? Memory serves. The Jarl's throne was just on the other side of that wall of ice. Ready yourself! Longer behind you, brother!
he, lad? He's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. Would you focus on your damn shit? You quit that shit. I mean it. You went to war with a war and walk away. Maybe. <laughs> Focus and help me. Can't disappoint father. Smack you, boy. Father, now keep looking. Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh-oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. This fight is mine, boy. Go! And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother! The little freak's got a bow! What are we gonna do? Does Odin want? Oh no, don't care. Come here, Hanfri. You're done for, Daddy's dead. Shut up! Don't call me that! Ah! Yeah! Can't believe you've lasted this long. Those skinny little arms can barely. I said shut up! Calm yourself. Looks like they need another lesson. To teach, Must have been 
You have no idea. You son of a bitch! Oh, no. Sickness. Fever has returned. No. It hasn't. Boy. The coffin, the blood. The boy's sick, he needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be all right. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. With that, we can carve the travel room to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. He did. He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I... And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment? No. But if vengeance is any concern... Since when can you kill a god? Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take utmost care Wait, while handling it. We were here before. It is a it priceless like relic, after all.
I don't think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. <coughs> don't worry about. If so, then keep up. Yes, sir. Magni didn't come back to life. That is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant. Fishermen would bring their day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. There's a path to the exit. The other side. Did it.
him to his palm. We're almost there. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant, rode a giant falling hammer, fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? Bet you have come a long way. Thanks. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel rune to Jotunheim, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret for Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye. But his hidden boat is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. Seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. So you were saying Thor is half god and half giant? That's so weird. Aye, but Odin and Fjordun's love was true. Once Fjordun was gone, lonely ages passed for Odin. And as war with the Vanir raged, I could see what he really wanted beneath his bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, they agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. Granted are so many wishes I can scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Oh, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity.